very much, um, Crispin. Um, the National Commissioner at the Escort Correctional Facility, Dr. Msumi, um, and the members of the media and the people of South Africa at large. President Cyril Ramaphosa has approved the remission of non-violent offenders in South Africa. There are 212 and 286 inmates, including 9,351 foreign nationals, managed by the Department of Correctional Services across the country, 243 correctional centers, and 218 community services. Unfortunately, the current occupancy rate is 143%, with the overcrowding rate of 43.06%. The recent loss of 3,024 beds at Kutamas in Tumule due to fire means to 47.6%, and in turn the occupancy rate will increase from the 147%. This poses a direct threat to inmates' health, security and management, and it could lead to a surge in gangsterism. More importantly, it hampers the department's ability to provide development and rehabilitation programs. The remission of sentenced offenders is a crucial aspect of our justice system, done in terms of Section 84, 2J of the Constitution. However, it is important to note that certain offenders, such as those convicted of sexual offenses, tampering with essential infrastructure, saving life sentences, and being declared dangerous criminals, are excluded from this discretion of the special remission. Despite this low risk, offenders in these categories may still be eligible for a 12 month remission period. Offenders convicted of non violent and non sexual crimes will be eligible for up to 24 months remissions after completing the pre release program and risk assessment and for providing fingerprints, DNA samples for comparison to the South African Police Service database. The, these decisions will result in the deportation of 3,064 foreign nationals serving short-term sentences under the guidance of the Department of Home Affairs. <clears throat> Additionally, it will alleviate overcrowding in correctional centers by releasing approximately 9,488 inmates who are inside our correctional facilities and further 15,000 inmates who are currently under correctional supervision and parole. They are already outside, they are not inside the correctional facilities. The majority of the, of the beneficiaries of these decisions are already serving parole or under correctional supervision in their communities. The exercise of exploring special remission commenced on the 24th of April 2023, when we lost approximately 1,112 bed space due to dilapidation in most of our centers. To ensure that this decision is implemented effectively, a joint task team comprising justice, crime prevention, and security cluster departments will oversee the process over a 10-month period, with the Department of Home Affairs leading the aspect of foreign nationals. It's important to note that victims will be allowed to make representation during the offender's considerations of parole. Obviously, a question will arise whether former President Zuma will benefit from this decision or not. Indeed, he is one of the beneficiaries as a low-risk offender. Thank you very much, uh, Crispin.